So, one second while I clean. Yes, this one is the one I'm looking for. So, I am left. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna try and recreate it, and I hope you guys enjoy. So if you guys want to see how I create this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So I think I'm just gonna start with my base first, and I'm just gonna prime with my Elf Matte Putty Primer, and just take a little bit of this and put it on my T zone. See, I that primer does not do well with my skin but i am going to do my base first just like she is now i'm just going to go in with my nars radiant cream concealer uh -huh, funny mine is in the shade medium water. awkward angle you guys will see why i zoomed in that much and i'll do it okay um i'm going to do concealer because i don't want it to be too sticky and this just gives me like a good coverage as well so i'm just going to put this so while she's doing her concealer, I'm going to be using my True Match powder in, come on, focus, focus, W3. And I'm going to be using that with a Morphe Y6, which is just a flat top kabuki. And I'm going to be like dabbing that into my skin. Um... I don't really mind showing my acne spots. Um, this powder is actually a little light. Um, I'm going to take my bronzer in bronzer from Physicians Formula and I'm going to kind of bronze up my face. I'm going to put this everywhere. I have a deeper bronzer that I'm going to use for actually bronzing my face. Um, I use this all over on top of the powder because if I put this directly on just like my natural skin, I feel like it gets patchy. Um, so I like to make sure I absorb the oils on my face with a different powder first. So I'm going to grab ooh, my Kathleen Lights ColourPop. And I'm going to use the medium deep bronzer to actually bronze my face. This has, while she finishes, meant to set my face, I'm gonna use my Too Faced for the Sweat Ethereal Spray Powder. I have that, I didn't use it, it is just very good. Lightweight powder, and I'm just gonna tap that wherever I concealed. I'm gonna be following mainly the eye portion. Um, I've never done colored eyes really. I'm just using a little bit of the Urban okay, Decay Eyeshadow the Primer Potion. I'm going to zoom in. To bronze my face, I'm going to use my Physicians Form. A Tarte Sketch and Set for my eyebrows. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to use just the tinted brow portion. Um, my eyebrows are pretty thick. They're pretty full, just naturally, um, so I really don't feel, okay, well. So it has the two eyeshadows that I need for this makeup look, so it's perfect. And I think I'm going to start out with the purple shade, and I'm just going to be using this purple right so here. So she grabbed shimmery lavender. this shade so right here. purple shade on my... I'm using the Morphe Y17 on the Just to enhance the color a little bit, and I'm gonna put that 
on the gray on the outer hair of my eye. And then I'm also going to put a little bit on the inner corner. Okay, now for the center of the lid, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's like a really nice, soft, gold color. And I'm just using the same brush, just I cleaned it out a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it. So, she went in with the third shade on the top row and she put it right in the center i like using my fingers for these shades on the center of the lid um i think it just goes on a little bit more with like a punch um and then i just take a fluffy brush and i kind of blend it together so that's what we have right now i mean it's not far off from hers but let's see what i can do I just, I don't get how the purple looks absolutely perfect on her, and the purple on me looks absolute poopy. Honestly, I don't hate it with my green eyes, but let's see what else she does. So my eyes are done. And then I'm just going to go back in with my blending brush and kind of just blend everything out a little bit. Her purple looks amazing and on her. mascara, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And just do a light coat on my Okay, so what she didn't do is she didn't highlight her brow bone. I'm going to because my eyes are, I feel like her eyes are so beautiful and like wide. Um, I'm just going to make sure mine is kind of matted out underneath my eyebrows. And I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna wipe off this flat shader brush. I'm gonna go in with just a teeny tiny like bit of highlight that matches my. Well, I'm gonna go with the same highlight I use on my face. Um, and just right underneath the arch of my eyebrow is where I'm gonna kind of place that blend it in with my finger just to kind of see how like the light pulls up now and she is going in with her mascara i'm just gonna clean up a little bit of And I'm going to go in with this blending brush with a little bit more purple it's because I feel like this eye is just very droopy and it doesn't have a lot of purple in pulling it up towards the crease. There we go. Okay. Make sure we don't lose that gold in the middle and another trick that I can use is I take my sponge and I just rub it in my powder right try to get like a really good coat on the top and I just press that in see how it like creates that like wing to go out She's going in with mascara. Does she do eyeliner? I don't think she does, but I'm going to. Okay, so I did pop a little bit on mascara on my bottom lashes as well because the picture did have it. Um, but I usually don't really like wearing that mascara on my bottom lashes. I don't either, so lashes. I'm not. Actually, uh, yeah, I think this looks really pretty so far. So I'm just going to finish it off with a lip. Okay. So she didn't do eyeliner, but I'm going to. Um, here I can zoom you guys out. So there's the look. 
Um, I'm gonna do my hair and then take some pictures for the thumbnail. I'm just gonna go in very, very, bring it right into the tear. So there's the wing. It's a pretty good wing for like one shot. Um, I am gonna dip again, just grab a little bit. The final look. My NARS Radiant Cream Concealer. And mine is in the shade medium one custard. And I'm not actually going to use a foundation today. I'm just going to do concealer because I don't want it to be too cakey. And this just gives me like a good coverage as well. So I'm just going to put this right under my eyes. Pretty much like my whole T-zone and then wherever else I need to cover up like some blemishes or anything like that. And I'm also just going to put this all over my face just to set everything down. To bronze my face, I'm going to use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And mine is in the shade um, Deep Bronze. For blush, I'm going to use this Kylie Cosmetics blush. And this is in the shade Close to Perfect. It's like a really nice neutral peachy shade. I usually go for those kinds of shades. So I'm just going to pop that right on. Then for highlighter, I'm going to go in with my MAC Oh Darling highlighter. So I'm going to set my eyebrows with the Anastasia Clear Up Brow Gel. I already filled in my brows. Um, I used the e.l.f. But yeah, uh, my dad got home and he has to leave. So he's going to make himself dinner really quick, eat, and then go to sleep. So I didn't want to be annoying and bother him while he is trying to sleep. Um, which now caused me to kind of like get ready and be out. Because all these people, let me just, let me just make a general statement. People from Massachusetts will be driving their fucking Kia soul and think that they're driving a Lamborghini just the issue just the fucking issue so here I am I editing my video and I deleted my outro that I filmed YouTube newbie so if you guys liked my video of me following Lyra Clark's makeup tutorial um, I'm going to link her makeup tutorial down below. If you guys liked it, like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what other videos you guys want to see from me. And I promise I'm going to get better at filming outros and not deleting them. Okay. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Because I have a vlog that I'm uploading tomorrow of my tattoo. So, talk to you later. Bye.